Okay, that last problem was a little difficult. Let's take it easy, do a couple of easier problems uh, for these Carnot refrigerators or Carnot heat pumps. All right, so heat pump is, is to be used to heat a house during the winter. The house to be maintained at 21 degrees C at all times. The house is estimated to be losing heat at a rate of 135 kilojoules per hour. If the house is losing heat at that rate, then doesn't that mean that we need to be pumping heat into the house at that rate? Uh, and the outside temperature is negative 5 degrees. Uh, determine the minimum power required to drive this heat pump. It did not say Carnot until right here when it wants to know the minimum. All right, what is the best possible scenario that we could have if we had the best possible heat pump? Then it's telling us, hey, if this is a Carnot heat pump, what is the power required to drive this heat pump? All right, so what is it really telling us right here? That temperature inside the house is the TH. This temperature outside is the TL. This right here, even though it says that's what it is losing, that's what the house is losing, let's think about the heat pump. The heat pump needs to be pumping that in, so that is the QH. That is the QH, or the QH dot, because it's a kilojoule per hour. Uh, we don't know the QL, we don't know the power, that's what we're trying to find. So anyway, it gives us T, L, T, H, and QH. All right, how can we find the power? Uh, I've got a few equations. Uh, one of them is that the coefficient of performance of a heat pump is QH over W net N. Um, I don't know the coefficient of performance. I do know the QH, but I don't know the work. That's what I'm trying to find, this minimum power. That's the W dot. So can't really use that equation. Um, but how about my other equation for coefficient of performance of a heat pump? 1 over 1 minus QL over QH. Again, I don't have too many unknowns because uh, I do know, you know, I've got two unknowns in there. All right, let me try this again. I know the coefficient performance for a reversible heat pump is 1 over 1 minus TL over TH. There, that... I know everything on the right-hand side. I can find COP. Maybe then I can plug it into one of those to find what it's really asking for. All right, so here we go. A 1 over 1 minus uh, TL negative 5 plus 273. Change that to Kelvin. I need absolute temperatures. 21 plus 273. The coefficient performance, 11.3. Now, there we go. 11.3 equals QH of 135,000 kilojoules per hour over W net N. That's the power uh, N to drive the heat pump. So I would get W net N is 11,947 kilojoules per hour. We probably don't want kilojoules per hour. We probably want kilowatts. Kilowatts is kilojoules per second. So this would be 11,947. Uh, it's just a unit conversion from hours to seconds. 3,600, right? Divided by 3,600. 3.32 kilowatts. That is the minimum power, or that is the power if we had a Carnot um, heat pump. Um, okay, let's do another uh, somewhat easy problem. Same, same kind of idea. All right. A refrigerator is to remove heat from a, the cooled space at a rate of 300 kilojoules per minute. What is that? That is the QL, the, the heat that is removing from the cooled space to maintain its temperature. That is the TL. Uh, if the air surrounding the refrigerator, that is the TH. I'll determine the uh, uh, minimum power input required for this refrigerator. So if it was the Carnot, what is this W net N? All right, well, let's see. Coefficient of performance for a refrigerator is WL, sorry, QL over W N, or here we go, 1, 1 over TH over TL minus 1. That's the, that's the equation I'm going to use to find the coefficient of performance. Then I'm going to 
find uh, W in from that. All right, so this would be 1 over TH, 25, plus 273, over negative 8, plus 273, minus 1. Be careful with the math. Don't make silly uh, math mistakes. Coefficient of performance, 8.03. So 8.03 equals QL, which I knew, 300 kilojoules per minute. Yeah, and then let's find the net, the, the work in. Uh, I don't have to do net for heat uh, pump, refrigerators at heat pumps. Uh, the power in uh, would be 37.36 kilojoules per minute. Uh, if I want to convert minutes to seconds, divided by 60.623, kilowatts. 0.623 kilowatts is the minimum power, or that's the power if this was a Carnot uh, refrigerator. All right.